Hi everyone, it's Angie playing What Remains of Edith Finch and uh, we discovered our room hidden behind... Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. <laughs> he never put it down. <laughs> and we discovered a room hidden behind a bathroom. I wonder how could anyone get inside here at some point because, you know, I understand being uh, when somebody is a kid and just sneaking through the cracks between the walls, but when you're an adult, it might be difficult at some point. By like crawling through space is Milton. Uh, what does it say? Couple turns land into a native haven. It looks like somebody was drinking a lot here. Okay, so apparently this was a place for this guy. Hidden behind a cu cupboard, something like that. Captured the secret lives of war photographers. Fort Sam. So he was fascinated by photography, by war, I guess, considering that he had some papers and some books about war, a lot of stuff about photography. Odin Finch National Park. And stairs up, like to the other side over there. Okay. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. This is very interesting. That he had a twin. Yeah, there is. There he is on a photo. But then. Did he disappear? Did he vanish? Enlist! Join the fight! Oh. Age 9. Around age, what? 11? Calvin died? Command center. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Hmm. These, um... How I Want to Remember My Brother, by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, broken leg! <laughs> you can see the cask. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm swinging. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh, no! <laughs> At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Yes. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't like the sound of this swing. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Really? No! I told him going around was impossible. Oh shit, I'm Maybe gonna if I hadn't said that. <gasps> no! Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh shit! Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Oh my god. I think I'm getting he'd already dizzy. made up his mind. <gasps> what? That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, jeez. He made up his mind to fly. And he did. Really? That's how we died? Calvin 
Alvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. There's a lot of tragedy in this family. The Hardy Boys. On the carpentry? <laughs> Okay, that, that doesn't seem to fit. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. I bet Edie is standing behind all those paintings. What's this? Another secret? <laughs> really? That's so cute. Who made all of those? Oh, come on, come on. Work. How is it working? I don't know. These books are painted. Okay. I want something like that in my house. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Okay, I haven't been to the attic yet yet should i go here i'll probably won't be able to get back when I go through there it's that it wait wait what growing up oh i'm in I a always room thought of barbara as a child star well apparently she was barbara Swan Lake. Okay. Oh, I can get back inside, right? Not before I check out her room. She was a cool teenager. And yeah, she died a teenager. She died like 16, right? Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. Uh-huh. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up has been. Oh. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. Mm -hmm. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw <gasps> and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Oh. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. <laughs> Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. Ooh. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. Uh-huh. She reached for the music box. So the key was still there? And 
and she wound the key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. I mean, the key shouldn't be there if Rick went down. Okay. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, this is creepy. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. What? Okay, that's creepy. The light is awful, but I dig the aesthetic. The old fridge rattled and grew stale. What? Oh dear! Oh no! Oh! Rick? What? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Really? Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you <laughs> She threw him out. <laughs> but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> and she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. What about uh, Walter? Walter? Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Oh, ah! Right on cue. Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh, and again. And it's so weird seeing the house from a different perspective. And the uh, library is open. I wish I could get inside. Maybe next time. <gasps> what? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, that part is sealed off. Here's Walter's room. Walter, are you there? Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orcas uh -huh. Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows. Man, door, hook, hand, door. <gasps> no! I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. No! And he was. He couldn't get enough. Um, hey, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Yeah, there is. But why are you still grabbing to that crutch? She played her part beautifully. Okay, this is Molly's room. Molly's door hadn't been opened in years. The hinges grow. Walter, though. Where's the little brother? In my opinion, she she should have grabbed Walter. Oh, he's not here. She should have grabbed Lo Walter and ran. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Can we run to the door? Is that Rick again? At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. What? No. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. He had a. Bravo, you were wonderful. The monsters have come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Uh huh. And she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. What? And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Magnificent. Oh, this reminds oh, me. <laughs> she had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. <laughs> of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Huh. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. What? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. What? <laughs> is that at least partially true? That's a creepy tale. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, maybe. She was into horses. But other than that, yeah, she was... Oh, but she was working as a waitress. And there's still a birthday cake. Really? Hmm. Okay, we can't leave through here. Then let's leave through here. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if the, the tale is true. But. Now I know that mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left mm. but now I know how to get to the basement so I guess we'll be going there but also I think that's a good place to take a break and we're going to check out the basement next time right oh what's this a lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night it Sounds like that last night was pretty dramatic, and I'm wondering what the hell happened. Anyway, like I said, we're going to continue digging next time, and right now, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>